Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mythical here. I just wanted to do a quick video on the power and the versatility of Logic Pro 10's studio strings. I really think that this is an overshadowed and overlooked program um, in comparison to its rival orchestral instruments that you can buy third party like from Spitfire, 8DO, East West, Quantum Leap stuff. Um, this is really a lot more versatile and easy to use than some of the programs that you might buy for $500 or $1,200, in my opinion. Um, in front of me, I wrote a five-piece string ensemble just before recording the video, and it includes violins one, two, violas, the cello, and the basses, and it's in D minor. And I'll play that for you in just a second, but first I'm going to show you the interface of the studio strings. So you can see String Ensemble is activated here, but if we click that, we have some options. Okay, we have sections we can work with. We can have like a big String Ensemble section, or we can work with solo instruments, which I think is very, very cool. But for this video and, and this particular arrangement, I chose to uh, do the string ensemble because it was pre-panned. I liked the tonality and um, it just sounded, it sounded good to me. So it's very important to make sure that when you are arranging strings or brass or choir, that you're working with dynamics via CC or your mod wheel modulation is very important and in the in the case of strings you want to think about how the strings and the players are going to manipulate their instruments so in a bowed instrument you're going to want to try to emulate how they play naturally in in an orchestra and I'll show you I'll show you that with the modulation automation that logic has but you always want to make sure in this program that you just have that clicked on. So underneath that, you'll see last played articulation, and I'll go over that. So let's just say bases here. All right. So you'll see that if we double click on bases, we're going to have an articulation drop down menu, and that needs to be activated underneath the track drop down and articulation set and I have the string ensemble patch loaded so that's what I chose and what this does is within the track you can change your articulation at the drop of a hat with whatever you want so it gives you options of sustain, staccato, spiccato, accented st sustains, tremolo, trills, etc. Very very handy for changing the articulation whenever you want, however you want, and making it sound even more natural. Now, in regards to the modulation, okay, you'll see I have the modulation activated, and I'm kind of emulating a bowed dynamic. So modulation, it's not volume, it's the overall dynamic of the instrument and I never ever copy and paste my my modulation each track has its own separate modulation and that gives it even more realism and more um, dynamic and even a lot more control over how intense you want your orchestra to sound so you can see that every single track is different and it's very important to kind of keep in mind especially these these violins I have um, I performed all these mods all the modulation with my mod wheel and that really helps but you can draw them in too and you can get a similar result but I always try to think about how the orchestra would play the the piece so let's uh, let's give this this thing a listen this is in D minor, and let's start with violins one.
now the whole thing. So, each track is doing their own, their own thing, harmonizing in their own way, and in my opinion, builds this big, beautiful, majestic, dark, sad, melancholy sounding orchestra. And I'm actually going to include this as a downloadable link for free in the description for you to download and dissect and, and maybe try to understand how I arrange orchestra. Um, this is what to me sounds very, very natural. And um, I think it'll be of great help to especially those that are just beginning with orchestral programming because it's very nebulous and there's a lot of information out there and it's hard to begin to understand how to do an appropriate arrangement so i'm gonna include that as a downloadable link and don't forget to watch my sidechain reverb video uh, that will really come in handy with some of the post-processing with the with the strings and um yeah i'll see you in the comments like it if you like it Dislike it if you don't, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.